YouTube, meet equipment. Equipment, meet YouTube. As tempting as it is to get your hands on the latest stuff, I try to avoid this and keep my equipment to a very minimal size and especially the fact I'm on a tight budget as well. Growing up, I've always used one of these and to this day, I'm still using one. It's a Sony RX100 Mark I. It's my go-to point and shoot. I mostly use it when I'm on the move. This was shot with it whilst myself and my sister were going 40Ks down a countryside in Asia. My point and shoot is valued at $500, but I got it for a fortunate $250 at a local dealer. And this is my Nikon D3200. It's a decent entry level camera, and I mainly use it when I have the time to compare shots. It's well worth its value and pretty small for a DSLR, which is practical. With it, I use this thing. It's a prime lens, which means I zoom with my feet, and in technical terms, is at f1.4 aperture, which gives that blurry background. And for the kit lens, well, I don't use that. This is my tripod. It's broken. My friend recently kicked the ball into it whilst we were filming, so I quickly jumped online, set up the web, and bought another one. This is my new tripod. It's a $30 basic one off eBay, and I guess it does the job of standing up. For my voiceovers, I use a Zoom H1. It's a standard mic, which works fine. Previously, I used a $30 mic off eBay, which is what you're hearing right now, and it's clear why I upgraded. What I edit on is this, not this. This is actually my family computer. This computer is actually a cheap ass computer valued at $400 with a ton of viruses and is unable to connect to the internet. But it does one thing exceptionally well, it crafts my films, and that's all that's needed. I guess the takeaway from this is that you don't need expensive equipment to produce your work. In fact, with just a camera, you can get away with it. Look at Jack Scap in Play the Game Films, for example. They filmed with only one thing, their iPhones, and that's it. I hope this helped.